What's up, you guys? Um, so, as you can see, these are my sealed up sketchbooks, and they all date. The oldest would be back to 2005, uh, 2015, but I did take quite a long break from drawing around that time period because I was struggling with mental issues for a little while. But I did pick it back up, and now. I guess I'll show you one of those. And let's start with the big yellow one. So it's, I don't really, I can't really see too well. Royal Wanks Lee, I'm not sure. So this is a very big, sketchbook because I used to love to draw on like a bigger type of paper now I usually gravitate to smaller sizes but this one I bought it and I didn't really like the paper so technically it's, this one is not filled in and it miss I miss probably about five probably about five pages in the end just because I did not enjoy the paper whatsoever and also a few loose sketches in there so, but yeah, I call it done because I was done. I was over the sketchbook so much, but I'll show you. So <laughs> this one, this one was the first one and I, I had this, it was either like a chunk of like red brick tiles or something like that. So I was just like, oh, let me like draw like mysterious profile. And then just, I didn't like it. So I kind of abandoned this page. That was this page. It was done back in 2015. And you can see like this paper does not take anything wet too well. So like pens doesn't really take them too well. Any inks, none of that. It's very kind of porous, I guess. And it takes to it takes to pencils fairly well, but it does not take to anything any wet medium whatsoever it just soaks it up and kind of breaks apart but it lays very flat i like that a lot and it's a very like sturdy book so i might eventually i might repurpose the um the covers for like if i make my own sketchbook or some kind of deal and these are a few loose drawings that i made between 2015 through maybe 2017 and I haven't made too many because I really didn't feel like my drawing was going anywhere so I didn't really do much so this one well it's just a little lady and the octopus I think it's acrylic yeah I'm pretty sure it's acrylic a little piece of watercolor and that's um I think it was a lyric from placebo and it's okay I'm not too too happy with it because now I can see where I could could have gone better but it's quite all right I never finished this one because I kind of got lost with the concept because I was I was trying to draw kind of like a little Buddhist monk and have him be completely cool and you can see in the back I was gonna draw a volcanic eruption and stuff and him just like sitting um in the as the lava flowing and like all the chaos going on him being completely calm but i don't know i kind of sucked at drawing lava i guess see in the back it wasn't watercolor so i tried to wash it out as much as i could because this water is it's like it's fairly sturdy this, this paper is fairly sturdy so i was able to wash out the top layer of pigment and then i tried to make it more like stylistic with uh, him kind of like being in the center of the sun and uh, everything else being dark but I don't know kind of ventured out the original concept and I didn't really like it so I gave up on that I feel like I should revisit this this was when I first started doing watercolors and um, yeah I mean it's okay I feel like I feel like I got a little better because you can see how big her head is like I had a lot of trouble with the understanding 
the size of the head because I did come from drawing a lot of anime and manga styled, styled drawings. So, um, um, yeah, I used to draw huge heads and I still, I still struggle with this, but now I try to be a lot more conscious about, um, the anatomy of the body because you can see how like small her hand is and how big her face is because like if, her, if she opened up her hand it would be like this big and you know it's just and her nose is really long like i like the colors i mean i could do better because this hair right here doesn't really make much sense i could do better but i'm not i'm not mad at it but i can see a lot of a lot of issues with an anatomy this was I think it was acrylic um, yeah like I said in Russian two banners inside this one I was actually revisiting the lady that I showed you in the beginning with the red octopus on her head and you can see again because you can see right here so if sh if I was to continue with her head, like with the contour, it would go all the way over here. And it's, again, it's a big head. It's a huge head. So um, I was struggling with the uh, anatomy a lot, and it was also kind of like lopsided, which is a tr which is a problem still that I have if I draw on completely flat surfaces, especially if the desk is kind of higher. Uh, I need to kind of tilt it towards me like this so I can see it straight on and that's That's the only way I can avoid kind of lopsided drawings and Then this one this was the um, Robin Hood the Disney one and uh, there was It was in 2015 when I started kind of dabbling with the watercolor a little more seriously and um yeah maybe 2016 i'm not sure somewhere along the, those lines but still like i'm not very good at drawing environments and uh, i understand it's my weak side and i'm trying to get better this was the kind of nuns with little lilies and stuff so from here on out um there's going to be a lot of like mixed drawings because some of them are going to be like from 2015 some of them are going to be pretty recent and you know all this stuff and um this one i tried to date most of them the ones that i could remember or at least give like approximate year while i drew them so this was when i was trying to learn how to draw kneecaps because knees are i think knees and feet are very hard to draw this one it's um I think I bought this little like sketching set and I had like a couple sticks of charcoal, a few different pencils and stuff like that. And I don't mind charcoal and like pencil drawings and stuff, but it's just not my preferred medium anymore. I really like wet stuff. I like watercolors, I like inks, all this jazz. So, you know, I can see some, I can see some errors and some issues with this drawing but you know it overall is like fairly inoffensive drawing of somebody who learns so this page it's actually fairly recent i think i did it sometime last year when i started getting into drawing a little more seriously because i started doing some um, gesture studies on these i was just um some of these actually were Reference from a picture and some of them Just the poses that I came up with and I was trying to make them like a little more gesturally because this is the problem that I have with my art still um, I Have a lot of problem with making my poses look not as stiff Because a lot of times they kind of they're, they're pretty stiff. You'll see it And more kind of gesturally stuff and this one was um <laughs> It's, this one is the old one and the gesture drawings are kind of are the newer ones because I was kind of running out of the paper and not always I can afford new sketchbooks so when I was filling this, this one out I just started 
started filling out this page and then I kind of started going through on this one but it was okay it's a little raven from Teen Titans a little tattoo design <laughs> I have a lot more now and they're quite a lot better because I do want to eventually get um tattoo apprenticeship in the future but this one was one of the first ones and um I'm not particularly happy with it I mean it's okay but I would not want to go my buddy <clears throat> some cute colored pencils so this one was one of the Inktober's that I was trying to participate in I think it was I don't remember which one maybe you remember by these um by these prompts but um it was either 2015 through 2017 maybe no it wasn't 2017 well it was somewhere like between those years and i was trying to keep up with it but i gave up <laughs> literally after the first day because something came up and something was going on so i i completely gave up on it wasn't doing it anymore this one i was trying to do more kind of like experimental lighting i guess and this dude came out came out completely like yeah, absolute creep and like <laughs> he has like kind of like this um unsettling eyes and i think it came out really freaking creepy and this one i think i was watching um the new blade runner so there was like this scene when he was walking into the desert and this one was the one and that was my reaction to that guy <laughs> So this one, this one I was designing the ring or something. So this one was um, a redesign of this guy because back in the day I was very, I really wanted to create this visual novel, I guess. It was kind of like steampunkish, but I am not a writer whatsoever. So I could not for the life of me come up with the story like with the whole story i came up with a few characters that i like so this guy it was a story basically about like a cult taking over um a country and about the rebellion and all this stuff and it was like really really ambitious but never went anywhere just because like i could not flesh out the story like who who this cult was why they like how were they able to get a hold of the country like what happened so basically like i kind of it's kind of on the back burner so if i ever came come up with a better story um maybe we'll finish it or like even start it but this guy he was kind of like a cybernetic kind of engineer and he was like he was really cool so yeah, I started off as this guy and you can see he's kind of like, I was kind of going, trying to go as, as for like um, Scott Pilgrim kind of style and mm, this one and I think I went in straight with like a pen or something so it's like no like construction or anything and I kind of turned into this guy and I like this design a lot better, I think he's cool then there's gonna be a few more this one was kind of like she was in a gang and she was like really bad and i think the story was that she she somehow aided in like a murder of the wife of the guy on the previous page so uh they would they would be rivals but then we will have to work together and like there's a lot of stuff so or, like some notes about like what i was gonna make out of them yeah, it's like <laughs> this was another kind of like character in the same in the same kind of world. This one was one of the one of the characters supposedly too because I was I wanted to have the two characters I was supposed to, I, I was gonna call them the Golden Kids or whatever, but they were supposed to be this kind of um, supernatural beings or people with some kind of supernatural powers. That, that call that took over the world or the country was using as a weapon and the worshipping object so she was supposed to be one of them and they were supposed to have those absent eyes and stuff uh this is this is me desperately trying to figure out perspective i still struggle with it and 
this one was a very lazy page this one this one one of one of the newer ones because i realized that my environmental drawings are not the best like i don't barely do backgrounds and stuff so i tried to create kind of a little scene with a little lady and her cat and, and there's supposed to be rain in the back i think and you'll see like this paper takes to this paper takes to pencil fairly well but everything is so smudgy on it like i know that like pencil especially if i use softer pencils will smudge but this on this paper is just like it's messy it won't stay on it and um it gives nice textured textured paper but just won't stay nothing will stay on this paper and this one kind of i was trying to do the dramatic shading but it kind of turned out kind of yucky <laughs> that was my um reaction at the at the point i was like why you're not good <laughs> i was very upset i was so happy because the line there at the beginning was okay but then i started shading i was like oh no <laughs> these are kind of newer ones somewhere i was like trying to figure out muscles and feet and stuff it's more kind of like more gesturally drawings i guess this one was when i was traveling and we were in montana in glacier park we were staying in the cabin so i was kind of doodling cabins a little bit it was more figuring out perspective so i was trying to draw my dogs and that no yeah didn't really work too much this one was one of the characters from the novel too that i was talking about he was supposed to be like these black sneeze and something something now the very lazy page and you can see like i don't ever make my sketchbooks like very presentable because my sketchbooks is like the where i flesh out ideas and there are a lot of failed drawings and like a lot of little doodles and stuff i don't make my sketchbooks look very nice like if i don't like the page i'll just abandon it because I see so many people create this beautiful works of art. Every page is completely different, like is completely finished illustration, and it's very nice to look at. But also, I don't know. I just want to like doodle up and just go on. Because if I don't get it out of my brain and on the paper, I'll either forget about it or it will feed in my head until I go crazy. So yeah. Oh yeah, these were the golden kids that I remade, kind of like redesigned in 2017 or like 2018. And um, yeah, I kind of, you know, could recognize her from one of the previous pages. I kind of like this one and I still like the idea, but I would love to like be able to flesh out the whole story. And here I think I started, yeah, you can see I like I did a little doodle on the blue. And I never finished it, and then I came back to it and finished it in red. And kind of this one is the newer one. This one is the older one, and you can see like the difference in uh, my style. I hope this one was kind of like self-portrait. This one was a sketch for a sculpture because i did go through the phase when i really wanted to do sculptures and i did for a little while but then we were moving and i was getting rid of a lot of stuff so i got rid of all my sculpting tools and all the sculpting stuff because you know it's heavy and i didn't want like, anything to get yucked up so um yeah i never done i never did this one i was gonna put a lot of quartz crystals like around her face and in the back because uh, we used to go, we used to go and dig out crystals, like quartz crystals, out of the ground where I used to live with my friends. So I had a lot of like little, little small quartz crystals in the cup. So I was gonna put them everywhere. But it's kind of, I kind of like the design still. So I'd like to make it into a sculpture one day. But for now, I can't. One was kind of like an elfish kind of king guy. <laughs> this one, this one, I was I was playing Armello a lot. It's kind of a video board game basically, 
and it's a lot of fun and the art is really cool it's all cell shaded all pretty um so and there's this king he's a lion and he's um evil evil king he's very corrupted and then those two were kind of like on the same page i was kind of doodling doodling them and some i don't know occult guy <laughs> this one was a i was very excited for summer so i drew a little summertime sketch but mm, now i'm so over it's too hot it's too too humid and just to like do do <clears throat> this one i think it was it was a thumbnail i think i was trying to do mermaid or something it was a thumbnail but then i was like i can't be drawing mermaids for a whole month i'm not even that much into mermaids so i kind of kind of that's that's where it stopped that's when well i do still i really like 21 pilots but um this one it's actually i think I think it's interesting because this one I was try I was trying to go like straight from the reference without any like construction or anything and you can see like it doesn't look like him it doesn't look like Tyler it kind of looks wonky and this one even though I still have problem translating likeness of the people still like this one looks a lot more like him a lot more proper i guess because this one is what, where i took more time actually putting construction lines and um going from the bottom up and not just like faded like not just doodling in what i see you know this one was thumbnail and in um a painting i wanted to make i wanted to make i had this long big canvas and uh, i wanted to make this long kind of like horizontal painting of um, all the monsters from um, music video Run Boy Run which is really cool, it's very beautiful I really wanted to make a long horizontal painting of the running um, monsters in it but then I kind of, I don't know, <laughs> kind of abandoned that idea just because like, I think I understood at the point that my acrylic scales were not on the level and they still are not, but I really wanted a big canvas painting. And then we were moving, so I didn't want to make a painting and then having to let it go, you know. So there's some cat girl, some lazy little sketches. This one was, this one is okay. The only thing I really don't like about her is how small her face is and how big her head is because that's the problem that i have again i draw a head too big for the face because the face is like really small and then the head is like psh. and i don't know i have i try to combat it but it happens it happens so for some hand study a couple noses some dogs <laughs> some some face some um some glasses characters and it's my dog again this one this one didn't turn out too bad that's her eye i think it was the eye of my other dog this is white colored little doodles i really like this one i like the floaty kind of characters it was again the guy from the i was from from the same visual novel that i wanted to make that i never made these were some nose studies. Uh, this was when I already started getting a little more serious with drawing. Because for the longest it was just like whatever, I'll just do the land and I never started like I never found myself working on my drawings, like trying to acquire certain skills. I'd be like, oh, I'll just slap something on paper and I'll be fine. It was just like kind of a way to express myself and vent, I guess. So this was when I started kind of taking it a little more seriously. So I started doing little studies here and there. <laughs> a little angry cat. It's like um, studies of maps. Some eyes and a weird face. Some feet. Because I find, I find feet a lot more hard to draw than hands 
just because I guess I see my hands all the time and kind of understand what they do and how they work more or less but on feet I don't really think about them too much so I don't really look at them too much so I don't really <laughs> have as much memory about them I guess more hands and a uh, little lady and you already can see because the difference between this one and um, 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 cause the time gap between this one and this one is only a couple of weeks I think so you can see like I spent those two weeks kind of working on the anatomy a lot more or working on like studies um, you know like just like gesture drawing and all this stuff and i feel like you can see already that this one is a lot better than this one in my opinion even when we're talking like values and stuff because this one uh i don't know if you can tell but for the most part this one is just one value there is no like lights it's all kind of meat tone and where this one you can see the light spots <laughs> my dog is dreaming are you okay? My dog was sleeping, I was barking in sleep. Trying to figure out how his muscles work. Because I have a lot of trouble drawing shoulders. Especially when they're like hiked up or when they when the characters lift their arms. I have a lot of trouble with uh, drawing shoulders and like muscles and everything. So I was trying to figure this out. I was drawing some dancing ladies and some swimming ladies. And some figure drawings and some more figure drawings yeah this one was the old one the older one so you can see like this used to be like the way how I drew the bodies and this is how the way how I draw bodies now I mean it's still exaggerated the way I draw now it's still very kind of like cartoony and stuff but it's just a little more mindful in my opinion more face studies with my <laughs> 21 pilot pen drawing I guess this one was this one was a failed um this one was a failed experiment because you know how they say that you have to learn the rules before you start bending them so like stylization wise so you have to like know the anatomy to exaggerate certain elements so i was trying to like somewhat mindfully exaggerate stuff but it's just i don't know it just looks awkward and kind of scary <laughs> there's more this one was when i was trying to get a little more comfortable with going straight in with the pen because I feel like my line a lot of times is not very confident because I keep like chicken scratching a lot so this was when I tried to go straight with the pan and just go straight in this one, I like this one a lot this was a lot, some more little figure studies this was a random prompt I think it was a cute witch with a giant lizard pet and uh, yeah, I'm not particularly happy with it. I don't really, I don't really use colored pencils for like finished illustrations too much. But I tried, and I'm not, I'm not very happy. Kind of looks just like, I don't know, the color, the color looks like it's just like some some school, some school kid made it. And I'm not talking like the school kids that are really good at drawing with like regular school kids was again with the going straight with the pan and you can see how like a lot more stiffer it looks some, some more just pan drawings some more figure studies some more like some weird hands hand studies figure studies a lot more figure studies And this one, I think, I think it was still May, so I decided to draw a mermaid. But yeah, I cannot draw a mermaid every day of the week. 
of the week of the month. So these are more little doodles. Some more gestures, other kind of figures. And you can see right here what I mean by um, when I'm saying that my lines are not are not confident. Like you can see how I keep going over the same spot, kind of like trying to figure it out. And I guess it looks okay at the end because it kind of created some shading and it can and kind of makes the features pop a little bit. But I can see from here that it's just my cheek is scratching that made it and. Um, I would love to step doing it. <laughs> Some more figures. I think I was, I think I was going like on random pages on Instagram. I think I was like scrolling an um, explore page, and whenever I would see a human figure, I would just like sketch it in real quick and just keep scrolling a little bit. So. I wish I could credit all these people for <laughs> that I drew, but I just physically can't just, just because it's, it's, it was a lot. Yeah, more more figure studies. I think this one and these two were were this the you know, kind of poses that I came up with, and they kind of I like this one a lot. I think this one is uh, very like dynamic like the other ones and so I don't know what those are so little sketches nothing to see here so this was kind of like a demon kind of character she like she was supposed to be like real cute one was thumbnailing because I still do want to get into animation a lot so I was kind of thumbnailing something this was me trying to come up with kind of like a sprite character which I still might do but I gotta I have to change it now because I used to have full head of dreadlocks but now I brushed them out because I, I have bad migraines from like constant pulling on my scalp and I do have them for like good three years, but then they just start getting too heavy for me and I start just getting bad, bad headaches. I have bad migraines like on the daily, but with that, with like the tension and stuff, it was just getting too bad. So me trying to figure out the facial expressions for different sounds for, um, for lip sync and animations and stuff. Can you hear my dog snoring? <laughs> this was me kind of thumbnailing out little animatic, I guess. I was like, I was trying, I, I was trying to think of like to make kind of like the girl hula hooping, but kind of, kind of gave up. <laughs> it was me explaining something to somebody about genetics, I guess. As you can see it was like dominant gene, recessive gene, uh, and little little table. <laughs> Some more doodles of uh, my sprite. Another mermaid, another like thumbnailing thing. I think I was like trying to animate a dance or something, so I was trying to thumbnail it out. Oh, this one it was <laughs> it was a thumbnail in a thumbnailing page and I think I ripped it out for some reason I think I had like a big drawing on the other side but it was supposed to go like all around and it was so it was so confusing and uh, it was supposed to be a story about like a pet adoption and stuff it was supposed to be like a girl saving a cat from like an angry dog and stuff so yeah I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> this one was the older one. I was, I was trying to figure out how butts work. <laughs> some more older ones. So I think there was a like straight up Sharpies. So yeah. And I think that's, that's, that's it. And this one I was trying to get... I was trying to get... 
watercolor work on this paper, but for the life of me it wouldn't work. Because they wouldn't spread out, they would just sit straight in and just get sucked in and never let go. So um, it was very hard to kind of like make washes and stuff just because... And the paper was trying to disintegrate on me and you can see it kind of bled through. Hmm. I see more stuff. Oh, I like that one. Forgot I had this one. So yeah, that would be it for this one. It's gonna be my first one. And um, yeah, just let me know what you think. If you have any advice for me, I would love to hear it. If you have a cool story to tell me, let it like let let, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And um, I'm gonna see you later.